Trading the gap is an excellent way for beginners to learn how to trade and make a little money. You've noticed the gap. The market closes at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it closes here. But by the next morning, it opens up differently. It's either up or down. Well, that's the gap. This means we can make money with one trade overnight, looking for a larger move compared to the smaller moves we often try to make money with during day trading. Now, yes, if you're disciplined, you can certainly follow a runner up or down during the day. Unfortunately, most of us are not that disciplined, and that's why trading overnight gives us an advantage. It helps us take the emotion out of our trading. There are many ways to trade the overnight gap, and let's start with my favorite chart with the SPY, representing the S&P 500. The ETF SPY started in 1993, and if you had bought the SPY in the morning and sold it in the evening over all these years, you would probably have broken even or quite possibly lost money. However, if you bought SPY in the evening and sold it in the morning, well, you would be up over 600%. What does that mean? So this tells us the action is overnight. However, there's something you need to understand. If you're buying the ETF SPY at the end of the trading day and selling it the next morning, well, then you're hoping that the market's going to open up one specific direction. Now, fortunately for the chart I just showed you, the SPY since 1993 opened up about 54, 55% of the time, and that's why that worked. However, what if you could do better than 55%? Well, you could always short the ETFs, which I think is dangerous because you could end up owing more than you put in, and I try to stay out of those types of trades. I don't like whether it's with stocks or options, to be in a position in which I'm gonna owe more than I initially risked. As you know, the market does not go up every single day. And sometimes you're using indicators that point down, or quite possibly there's some news that concerns you, or you just have a gut feeling. It's time for the market to go down. So what do you do? One thing I like to do is use leveraged ETFs. What are leveraged ETFs? Well, they are ETFs that actually, in a sense, borrow money against the position to actually maximize your gains, but also your losses. So in other words, if you buy the TQQQ and it goes up 1%, well, that's a three times leverage ETF, which means rather than making 1%, you'll make 3%. The nice thing with these ETFs is you can also play the downside. So again, if you think the market's gonna go down, you could buy the SQQQ or a leveraged ETF that shorts the SPY. And for example, if the QQQ goes down 1% with the SQQQ, you would make 3%. So with this approach, you're not dependent on the market just going up. So the idea is that you're gonna to try to beat that 55%. Maybe you'll be right 60% or 65 or 70% or better and you could use your favorite indicator. You can test different indicators. You can develop your own indicators. There are many different ways to approach whether you think the market's gonna go up or down. It is by far not a perfect science. You could use money flow, you could use the MACD, and of course, you can use the SPY tomorrow indicator, which of course is free on the front page of spytomorrow.com. And if you have an indicator doing well over 55%, you might wanna use options, buying calls if the market's going up, or puts if you think the market's going down, where you can really maximize those gains by 10, 20, 100% or more. Although, there are amazing advantages to trading the gap overnight with options, there are also some downsides, especially when there's no gap. When trading options, you really need the market to move to make money. Let's say your signal set up and you bought a call overnight to trade the gap up. And let's say it went up, but there wasn't much of a gap. It only went up 0.1%. And because of what is referred to as theta or time decay, you very well may lose money 
even though you were right. Yet, if you had bought the stock or the ETF, you would have made a little bit of money. If you had bought a leveraged ETF, even though the market opened flat at 0.1%, you would have actually made about a third of a percent because of that three times leverage. However, depending on the volatility of the market, if the market did gap up, say 0.5%, you very well could make 40, 50, or 60% if you had bought call options. And of course, you could lose that much if your indicator's wrong. That's why when trading options or any type of trading, you need to learn how to properly position size. Don't go all in because you could lose it all. Figure out what your risk tolerance is. Kind of do the math. How often are you correct? Are you correct 55% of the time or 70% of the time? That's helpful to help you understand what type of a position size you should work with consistently. Day traders have an advantage compared to those trading the overnight gap. They can place stops, which we can't do. We can't place a stop to get us out of the trade during the middle of the night if it's not going our way. So what we like to do are SPY T trades, which are ratio trades, which means we would buy two calls to one put if our indicator said up or two puts to one call our indicator set down and there are many different variations of the spy t trade i recommend you check them out in my other videos it's always important to remind yourself that no indicator is perfect even if it's on a streak different indicators tend to work well in different environments and you'll get to know which indicators are right for you but you always have to keep in mind what could happen overnight news could happen overnight that could easily change the move to the market. Maybe there is news expected in the morning, maybe earnings or possibly an economic report. Keep in mind what's happening the next day after the market close and of course the following morning when planning out your position sizes and how much you trust the indicator for that evening. You've seen that gap overnight and you've always wondered how you could take advantage of it. Well now you know and I'll see you in the next video.